Hi, so today we're going to move forward in Psalm 1-1. Yesterday we talked about um, blessed being the descriptive word of the one who follows the instruction in Psalm 1. And then happy, we're defining the words that the Amplified Classic uses in this psalm. So blessed, happy, which is well-being and contentment. The next one that the, the writer uses in the, this translation is fortunate. Fortunate. And so my definitions here are bringing a good result. Bringing a good result. And so that being whatever you put your hands to, bringing a good result. Another is favored or providing um, preferential treatment. Um, preferred, receiving some unexpected good. And so I love in this fortunate that one of the definitions is favor or um, providing, receiving, preferential treatment being preferred. Uh, when I was in high school, and this was really longer ago than I think it was, but um, we had a pretty just, ugh, not, it wasn't, wasn't a fun thing to deal with. And um, I, our principal, who I absolutely to this day love. I admire her. I'm thankful for her. Um, she is such um, a cheerleader and an encourager and really just brown great ground breaker in the Christian education world. Anyway, I was really struggling because I, I wanted to do things right. I tried to do things right. I wanted to do things um, honorable before the Lord. And, and I had worked extremely hard and um, had to to really take the high road on a couple of things, you know, and I can take the high road. I take the high road a lot, but sometimes I get tired of taking the high road. <laughs> but again, looking at the gain versus the cost, it's always worth taking the high road. Anyway, I will never forget what she said to me in talking about the favor of God. In that when you, I'm going to try not to cry even thinking about it. I remember it just as real as she was telling me right now. When you are honorable before the Lord and you do as he instructs you to do and you live and conduct your life in a manner worthy of your calling, when you live out of his love, when you are obedient to him, when you see his love and you respond to him and you act towards others out of his love, you will experience the favor of God on your life. And that is these, this fortunate, bringing a good result, that you will receive and you will be favored. Other people will be drawn to you, superiors, people of means that you need to be in contact with um, will give you preferential treatment. They will prefer you because of the favor of God resting on your life. And that's not anything that you've done to earn it, really. But following Him is rewarding. Following God, choosing His way, there are rewards for that here now in this life. It's not just when we die and go to heaven that we are rewarded for the Christian life. Heaven is a reward for a Christian life. And so that is the ultimate reward. But there are promises for here and now living on this earth in this natural universe. When we are a child of God, he, there are benefits to being his child here and now during this life. And the favor of God is one of those. And so as we are his, as we submit ourselves to him, as we follow his lead and his direction, his favor rests upon us. And um, that, that, again, is just one of the definitions of fortunate here. And so I'm, I'm, I keep saying it, and I just really want to drive it home, though, that it's not always easy to take the high road. It's not always easy to watch other people be put out in front and stroked and um, really set up in front. Almost, <laughs> It's almost like a backwards of Psalm 23 where it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That, you know, these people are not doing anything that they're supposed to be doing. And yet, look at what's going on in their life. But I promise you, when you 
act out of his love and are obedient because you love God, he will put his favor on you and he will reward you and you will find preferential treatment. You will be favored. Good results will come about from the people that he has lined up and ordained for you to come in contact with. And so I know it's tough when you're looking at it right face to face and you don't really see how he could work it out, but he's God and I promise you he's got it worked out. So anyway, I'll leave you with that today, that the blessed one is happy, he's fortunate, he is um, the favor of God rests upon him and tomorrow we'll start and we'll look at prosperous and I will see you then. Bye y'all.